Hey everybody, Jason Moser here, analyst with Motley Fool One, and thank you for joining us for another edition of Ask a Fool, where we take your questions and hopefully answer them. <laughs> Today we're taking a question from Rafi, and Rafi asks, there is a question that haunts me and I hope you can help. You buy stocks for the long run, what should you do as a fool when there is a real market crash? Would you sell and wait for better days or stay the course with your stock? And Rafi, that's a great question. You know, I think first and foremost, I want to make sure that you understand uh, in any position as an investor, we advise that any money you put in the market is, is money that you're not going to need for the next five years. And the simple reason there is we can't really predict the short-term movements of the market and you never want to be caught in the position of being a desperate seller. Uh, that's just never a good position to be in. Now, in regard to your question, you know, I think this is one of the greatest arguments for being a business-focused investor like we are uh, here at The Fool. We look at businesses from the bottom up, we focus on their competitive positions, uh, their management teams, understanding the greater trends uh, behind the business and what that trend is, how the business is playing into it. These are all questions we try to answer when we invest. And when we don't know when a real market crash is going to come, this information can be very helpful because it gets us into those great businesses. Ultimately, timing the market is just not a viable, sustainable investing strategy, so we don't try to do it. So when a general market crash or a correction comes, well, we know that we have a portfolio of stocks of businesses that we believe in and we're happy with, even if their share prices are down. And actually, you know, when we look at it from that position, we'd even think about buying more at cheaper prices if the market is correcting, assuming the fundamentals of the business haven't changed at all, because we know these are businesses that we believe in for the long haul. And I'll just leave you with some words of wisdom from investing legend Warren Buffett. This comes from his 2011 letter to, letter to Berkshire Hathaway shareholders, and I just think they're great, great words to remember. He says, if you are going to be a net buyer of stocks in the future, either directly with your own money or indirectly through your ownership of a company that is repurchasing shares, you are hurt when stocks rise. You benefit when stocks swoon. Emotions, however, too often complicate the matter. Most people, including those who will be net buyers in the future, take comfort in seeing stock prices advance. These shareholders resemble a commuter who rejoices after the price of gas increases simply because his tank contains a day supply. Great way to look at it. Look at yourself as a net buyer of stocks. Think about you know, the long-term picture of the companies that you're investing in, and I think you'll do okay. I hope this answers your question. Thanks for, uh, thanks for sending it along. And for more information, make sure to check out fool.com.